Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, today, we're gonna be tending this Scion XD. So, just to get a little catch up, I actually just finally got the, the tint that I needed, the 40 by 100, and this is an example. So, this is the 40 by 100. So, the one that I was running before, I believe is 20 by 100, which is half that size. This is how big it is for a reference. And this is the 40. So the problem was um, before is I couldn't tint this windshield. I could, I definitely could, but I'd have to go in half. I'd have to go in half this way or I'd have to go in half this way. And you would see a seam in the windshield and as well in the back window. And I don't want anybody to deal with that at all. So it took me some time and we finally got the 40 by 100. As far as I know right now, this, I believe, this kind of looks like a 15, but I believe this is about a 20 uh, tent. This is not ceramic at all. So it's just a regular basic tent. So this car gets extremely hot. Um, my customer is telling me that he does when he gets in extremely hot. He said the AC is kind of going out on him right now too. So, got him ceramic. This window is not tinted, I believe. And if it is, it's about a 25. This one's probably about a 25, 20. I'm still learning all about, you know, my shades of 10 by eye. Windshield, not even tinted at all. So he's driving, he's getting straight sun in his eyes and his face. And for a lot of you that don't know, the reason why ceramic tint is so expensive is because it's a better quality tint all around. So if you go somewhere and say, oh, I want to get tint, and they give you a regular tint price for like 200, and then you get another one for like four to 500, because ceramic tent is expensive. I can say it 10 times out of 10, and if you guys don't wanna understand, you guys will understand the before and afters. When he's driving, he's getting nothing but sun coming in, and the sun and the UV and all that heat, and we live in Arizona, and it's getting, right now we're getting up to 119, you know, and even higher than that. And in your cars, you are baking. This is like, a, this is like an oven, and this is sitting outside all day. You're in work, working all day, even if you're working outside, this thing is just baking. So with the ceramic tent slapped on top, it's reflecting all that heat out of your car. It's not letting it in. This whole car is gonna be 15%. I went and got a steamer. So on this back window, if you guys look at these little lines, everybody has these lines on their back windows. These aren't just useless. These are actually, this is actually copper. So when you hit your, your button for your defrosters when it's cold, these actually heat up and they defrost your back window so you can see. So if I'm taking off the tent with a razor and I clip this, if I barely even nick this copper, you'll lose continuity, you'll lose all your connection through all your copper, it'll, it'll pop off the grid. So when you go hit that button, it's gonna say, oh yeah, I'm defrosting, but you won't have, it, it won't be connected. So then you'd have to replace the whole back window and get everything new and get it all reconnected so then that your defrosters would work. With the steamer, it's gonna help me get this film uh, off the back window. I, I thank myself for buying this honestly right now. I have it set at 62, but my temp in this garage right now Is 94 And let me tell you being in this garage at 119 outside and it being 94 is Pretty good. It's hot, but it's pretty good. I acclimate myself to this heat, but it's not bad 94 in this garage not bad. Okay, I'll take it So 
this is the previous tent before and you can kind of see this tent already coming up right here so for me it's easier i can just steam this and this is where i can start um if not i have to get a blade and try to pull up some uh some tent after i steamed it so, so like you can see that it's lifting right where my fingers that you can see that it's lifting so this tent's already it's already done it's already bad tell you if you're gonna if you're gonna do this you might as well get the steam cleaner because this this section right here I've steam cleaned and the tent is just peeling off with legitimately like no issue at all on the left side there's not a lot of tension on the right side I barely touched and it's it's having a tough time coming off so I'm gonna steam it some more and then this just peeled off like it was butter just take your time when you're peeling it off be patient but I will definitely say this is a lot better than the razor aspect all day. So this actually came out really well like really well there's there's legitimately like there's no adhesive I, I don't feel anything at all I'm still gonna clean it I'm still gonna go thoroughly clean with it um, I probably might not bring a blade I just might bring um, soapy water and a sponge and see if anything comes up but right now for what I'm feeling and when I was pulling it off it was she wasn't even really tugging on me she was just sliding off like it was no problem that's what she said. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna do the whole car right now. Um, I'm just gonna do everything at one piece. I, I one, I'm gonna do everything at one time. So I'm gonna take off all the tent on this one and this one on the other side. So all I have to do is put the tent on, trace it, trim it, and then shrink all of them at the same time. And then once I get to doing that, then I'll apply all of them at the same time. And I think that's gonna save me a lot more time. So now I got everything stripped now. This feels pretty good, no adhesive, nothing. But right here, I got caught. The, the film, it looked like it's separated from within itself. So all I gotta do is grab a razor, just take that off, clean this window, and then she's ready for 10. <music> Now she's ready for 10. All right, so now I got all the tent taken off. This is just clear glass now. All around the vehicle. So now I'm about to throw 15% on all around the car. So put on the first set.
So for reference, front windshield, it's not done yet. Driver's door is though, and that's 15. So you can see pretty clear that you're 15 and that's no tent. And I think you can tell a pretty big distinct difference. Now from the exterior on the outside, once I tint this whole windshield, uh, a lot of light won't be able to come in and you can tell so I'm sitting back and if you guys can tell It gets brighter up in the front and essentially That's where the Sun comes in and that's where you're getting all the heat from so if we can block all that off It's gonna darken up the inside a little bit. You'll still be able to see But you'll be able to also keep a lot of the heat out So you can do the whole ceramic tent on the whole car, but if you forget to do the windshield in the back window it's kind of a you know you did it but you didn't do foolproof so here's the here's the rear drivers driver passenger and then here is the rear passenger this one hasn't been touched yet so you can kind of tell the difference between the both no tent ceramic 15 here's actually something else I want to show so again this one though right here is tented and this little window right here is not tinted. Well, right now by camera, you can't really tell. I can tell by eye. Well, let's check. Put the light up. You can't really see what's going on inside. You can kind of see the chairs a little bit because not everything is fully tinted. I come to this side and I can see what's going on. I can see inside of the vehicle. See the chairs. And I spell them back over. And again, it's a lot harder to see. And I'm getting pretty close. It's getting harder to see, I can't really see. I'll do another example. So you are facing in, you are in the vehicle. Here's the light. There's a full exposure to the light right here. Yeah. This side, and then no tent. Tent, that's the sun. No tent. So I think you guys can get the difference between a ceramic tent and not having a tent. All right, so I'm a little upset, a little disappointed in myself right now, but I did the front windshield, I did it the first time, and I messed it up. I did the second time, and I cut it a little too short. I did the third time, and everything was going perfect, and I went to go put it on the windshield. When I went to put it on the windshield, uh, when I put it in, the tent had a uh, had crumpled together and that's not supposed to happen so when I try to pull it apart it ripped I'm gonna call Aaron and I'm gonna ask him to come down and show me his technique of putting on a windshield and how to shrink uh, to the windshield because the hardest part is shrinking it because if you don't do it right you can burn it um, and or if you don't heat it up enough you know it's just gonna crease and that's what happened on my first one 
And I just want to make sure, because Aaron does this every single day, uh, to Aaron to come down and like just show me and do like a walkthrough tutorial. I've watched videos on YouTube, but like I still just can't get it right. Um, this car is Michaela's brother-in-law. Um, so he comes over, I see him every week. So I told him instead of doing the whole windshield, I'm gonna do a strip. So I'm doing the strip right now. I'm not too happy for it. I mean, I'm gonna make the strip good. But I'm just upset because I want to do the whole windshield from him for him because just seeing how much heat will stay out of his car is gonna help him a lot better rather than the strip. So I'm gonna get to practicing more on the windshield so when he brings it over, I can get it done properly, I can get it done right. Um, and then you guys see that like I'm not trying to hide anything. Like that's probably the biggest mistake I made on this car was this windshield. You know, the, all the windows on the side are good. Even, even this back one's good too. But the only problem I have is just like the shrinking and like and there's like a certain method. You call it like an H method. A little H in the windshield. But I'm just having a hard time doing it. I think I just need Aaron who's a pro to come down and just show me. So I'm gonna get to finishing the strip. Put the strip on. And then I'll have um, her brother-in-law come down and come get his car. And he'll let me know how he likes it. But um, I'll definitely tell him, hey, like I'll do your whole windshield because I got his other car coming in and I'm seeing when I can get Aaron to come in so I can master this windshield. finally done it's 15 all around yes unfortunately the windshield didn't get finished but uh, I'm gonna do something about it and I'm gonna get it done I was a little frustrated getting it done uh, if you think about tinning try it before you talk shit actually try it it's a little harder than what it looks like the windows aren't that hard they're not that hard the windshield and the back window a little bit hard because you got to know exactly what you're doing so um, I will have Aaron you guys don't know Aaron, Aaron was the last video. Uh, I met Aaron through my company. He uh, is a mobile windshield replacement and does tents for a living. And I hit him up. I asked him, I was like, hey man, do you mind coming over and showing me? So if you saw the last video, you'll see that he was the one who was teaching me how to tent. Um, he said, since I've already had started wrapping, that it's kind of the same thing, it's a little different. Uh, it's got its own technique to how, how to tent, but um, he showed me how to tint. The only thing that we didn't have was the film to tint a windshield. So uh, he's going to come back again and he's going to help me because he's fucking awesome. So I'm going to drop his uh, his info in the link. If you guys ever need a mobile car or somebody mobile to replace a windshield, uh, hit him up. I believe he does take insurance. He is the one who taught me. He's going to be in the next episode showing me how to do the windshield properly. This car right here, I have this car. This happens to be Michaela's brother-in-law. And this one we've talked about maybe potentially wrapping. You guys have seen in this video that it's got a lot of sun damage, um, there's a lot of flaking, and that's because of the Arizona sun. If you're not in Arizona, you should know it's really hot out here. It's, right now it's probably like 93 in this garage right now, and that's as cool as I'm probably ever gonna get in here. So, 
but our cars are always sitting out and if you don't have a PPF on your car um, the paint protection film PPF which I will actually get into here pretty soon I'll learn how to do it I'll document how I do it um, and then I'll also be if anybody wants to get a wrap a tent or PPF done you guys can let me know even modifications you guys can let me know but that's all I'll be doing I'm gonna be modifying my car my car is gonna be coming up here pretty soon I got a lot of stuff for it I've been kind of pushing her back and just waiting um, but yeah, I'm getting more content on all these other cars. So if you guys like this, please like, please subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. And also, I don't know if I'm going to have this up in time, but it blows my mind to think that I got at least at least 91 subs. And people don't think that's a lot. But to me, you got you to gotta steam it down. 91 people. You got to think, that could be a college classroom or two full buses, two full school buses. So it's like, to the 91 subs out there, all I gotta say is, what do you want from the gas station? Cause I'll pick you up some. Appreciate you guys. Uh, everything that I do is for you guys. And I'm trying to make content, I'm trying to be better. So please hit the comments, let me know how I did. Let me know where I can go better. Uh, if you know how to tint and you can throw me some advice, if you live in the Arizona Chandler area, hit me up. Uh, maybe we can do a little collab or something. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.